Hello and welcome back to the Lincoln Loco 3 and boy this is getting exciting now. Today the semi-finals of the Europa League against Lazio. Both of those legs coming up today as well as again against Espanyol in the league wedged in between that. It's really exciting now. We're right towards the end of the season and so much can still happen. First things first though, would hugely appreciate it if you could drop a like on today's video for me and of course subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Push that notification bell on as well and leave a comment down below for the YouTube algorithm. Since you guys were last here, we've played two league games since our huge win against Bruce Munch and Gladbach in the quarterfinals and actually we've done pretty well, all right? We beat Villarreal 2-1, really good result there to pick up three points in the league and we had a crucial game against Atletico Madrid as well drew that one nil nil which was really important that we just didn't lose it essentially uh, Atletico Madrid played it off the park but we drew the game nil nil which was crucial for our league standing with four league games to go we sit third in the table two points clear of Levante in fourth Atletico are three points behind us Huesca are four points behind us Valencia five points behind us and to be fair Espanyol yesterday eight points behind us but Theoretically, they could still catch us up. So still huge pressure on us to try and do something, to try and stay inside that top four. The final few games of the season are going to be tough. Espanyol is going to be a tough one in eighth position. We've also got Valencia and Levante and Elche to come. So those Valencia and Levante games are going to be huge. For me, though, we don't want to think about the league too much. We just want to get straight into today's semi-finals against Lazio, who've got Jose Mourinho as their manager. So going up against football manager royalty in Jose Mourinho. Crenza starts in goal and hopefully will keep a clean sheet in this first leg as we play away from home first and foremost. So hopefully plenty of away goals. Luka, Eriksson and Araya start just in front of him with uh, Stransky and Terziev in the wing-back role. Skander and Catania make up that midfield partnership today with that ever-present front three pretty much of Ferdinand, Gisk and Sione leading the line. Between them now, they have 68 goals this season. I reckon we can maybe even get to 80 goals between the two of them this season, which would be mental. Hopefully, they go a long way to doing that in today's games against Lazio. So, no messing around today. Straight into the game. A date with Lazio awaits us. Get past them and we've got one of Tottenham or RB Leipzig to face in the final, which is ridiculously exciting. Very quiet start to the game though. Two shots apiece in the first 25 minutes. This is not usual. The previous knockout games we have played, we have done really, really well by scoring plenty of goals early on. This time, a little more quiet, but you'd expect that. You know, Lazio are probably a step up in terms of Bruce Munch and Gladbach and Zen at St. Petersburg. I mean, we did very well against Arsenal, right? We beat Arsenal twice in the group stages. But even then, I think Lazio might be a little step up from Arsenal. As we go into half-time, nil-nil. Now, that's great, you know. If we can draw nil-nil away from home, that's a pretty good result, right? Because, you know, playing away from home is difficult. It would be good to get an away goal, obviously. But I take a nil-nil or a one-nil defeat as we just about manage to stop that Lazio free kick going in the back of the net. Great save from Krenzer there. Looks like Tottenham are in the ascendancy in their game, though. They're 2 up against RB Leipzig right now, so Tottenham could be going to the final. Ferdinand with a good tackle there. Can he get the ball out of defence? Mm, not really very well at all, unfortunately. As uh, Boldy comes forward for Lazio, I can feel a goal coming. And unfortunately, I can't feel it coming for us, which is a great shame. I ju I, I, it just feels like a goal highlight to me. Or a penalty highlight brought down in the area there, unfortunately. It's going to go to VAR, but um, I'm pretty certain that was a penalty. It looked like their player was brought straight down in the area, unless it was a dive. But I think the VAR is going to give a penalty. And Lazio with a chance to go 1-0 up in the semi-final. Sergei with the penalty, and I thought Krenz had just got there. Unfortunately, Lotch is it's SMS. He's still playing. How old is he in this? He must be like 40 nearly, surely, in this save now, as Krenzer actually was quite far away from saving the penalty. SMS, how old is he? 37. 37 years old in this save now, and he's still going for Lazio. Fair play to him. The penalty give Lazio the lead then, but I'm not too worried. I back us at home. If we can just get an away goal, if we can just score a nice away goal, that would be beautiful, but... 
If we only lose 1-0, that's not the worst result in the world for us, I must say. We've not let Lazio score from open play. Just as I said that, I thought they were going to score from open play. We've not let them score from open play, which is quite nice. But the, uh, the lack of highlights for us is slightly concerning in this game. Huh. Okay, Terzia for Hannison as well. We've got maybe one final chance to score a goal as Ferdinand comes forward with the ball. Can he find one of Sione or Giski? Can Sione shoots and Sione puts it wide? And I think that's the only highlight we've seen from us so far in this first leg. Really, really quiet. And I think this is the first time, maybe apart from that Brucey Munch and Gladbach game, which we lost uh, last episode, but obviously won on aggregate, where we've looked the weaker team. Hopefully, hopefully we turn it around at home. Okay, okay. A little worrying. Oh, I really want to win at the Europa League now. I really want to get there. and We've got a great chance of getting to the final, but I'm not sure if we're going to do it after that. We'll wait and see for the second leg. In the meantime, big game coming up against Espanyol if we want to try and get Champions League football next season. Kenneth Gisk has won La Liga Player of the Month. You love to see it. Also, all the names of the leagues and awards have changed back to like the default. Since that winter update came out, I did have like a thing in the game which changed all of the names from like Spanish First Division to La Liga. Um, but since the winter update, it's all changed back. Um, I'm not quite sure how to fix it. Not that it matters too much, but it was nice to have that extra level of immersion. Do I change anything for this game? Yes, there's a few players who are looking tired. Terziev will come off for Catania, who will play as that wing back. Because he can play there and Terziev will then come off for, uh, for Scott Murphy. We'll take Ferdinand off for David Perez. We'll get Stransky has got to stay on the pitch. That's a little for us. We need to get more left backs for the next season. This Kiedo could play there, but as a left wing back, it's it's kind of Stransky's role. Okay, that's good to me. Submit the team. Let's go and take on Espanyol. Right, kick off upon us. Hopefully we can get back to winning ways today. We are away from home against Espanyol, so that's a little difficult. And of course, we do need to beat Espanyol. If we don't beat them, there's a chance they could maybe sneak up towards us towards the end of this season. It's so, so tight between us and Espanyol with only three games to go after this one is completed. So we need a positive result here to just keep momentum going to make sure that we could, you know, maybe afford to slip up once or twice in those final three games of the season by picking up three points here. It just gives us a little bit more security if we can pick up the win here today, which, hmm, given the uh, first highlight of the game going straight to Espanyol and they've just been allowed to walk through our defence, I'm a little concerned about. Who are Levante playing then? Levante are playing against uh, Getafe. It's 0-0 right now. Valencia are currently 1-0 up against Sociedad. Atletico Madrid are currently not on the screen. We'll look at those guys in a second, but if I look at things, I think they are winning because they have got a green arrow next to their name moving up the table. So I guess that's a good thing for them. Uh, not for us, obviously. If I scroll down, Atletico are losing to Huesca. Ah, okay. So Huesca are beating Atletico. So that's... Cut. If they can draw, that would be beautiful. Huesca and Atletico to draw. I'd love that, please. Uh, in the meantime, we're still not winning as Perez gets it to Skander into Stransky. Just the 1-0 win would be quite nice, boys. A 1-0 win would be beautiful. Last episode, I spoke about how great it is that we're not running out of steam. I think we're at that stage now. The steam is running out. And we're just really fighting towards the end of the season. We've been the worst team today as well. Espanyol, much better than us. Let's get Catania off for Hannison as well at right wing back. Uh, demand more. Let's go a little bit more attacking. Come on. We need the win. We really need the win. Although... We are still third, right, which is great. But other teams around us are doing well. They're catching up to us a little bit. Unfortunately, though, two poor performances so far today. Two poor performances, and we could still get the loss right now. Espanyol, forward. No, boys. Let's not concede. Stop the cross. We've not stopped it, but we have cleared it at least. But they still come forward. Right. Can we... Perez, great challenge. But still, we don't win possession back. I can feel the goal coming. It's going to come. There we go. Oh, I told you it was going to happen. I could just feel it at the end of that game coming. So Espanyol, by looks of things, are going to get a crucial win against us in the league. We stay third by the skin of our teeth. But the finale of this season is going to be monumental. Look how tight it is. 
there's still a huge chance now that Espanyol have beaten us that we finish eighth this season. We might not have any European football next season, but we could have Champions League still. With three games to go, it's, oh, it's agonising. And so it all comes down to this now. If we're going to only win one game in today's episode, please make it a huge win, a huge win against Lazio. I'm begging you. Steven Gerrard sacked by Seville. Oh, you hate to see it. Steven Gerrard, what's his managerial career been in this save? Can we click on him? Steven Gerrard, Rangers to Seville. That's it. Fair play. I do like seeing like weird and wonderful managerial appointments in this. Obviously, Jose Mourinho is at Lazio, which is pretty exciting. Well, I guess only exciting if you're a Lazio fan. Uh, not really exciting for anyone else. But here it is. We've got to start playing well today, boys. We've got to start playing well. Am I happy with that lineup? Not quite. I want to bring, if I can find him, where is he? Terzia back on for Catania, and the Catania goes back into that CDM, uh, not CDM, box to box position. Skander will swap over with Scott Murphy, and Ferdinand comes on for David Perez. I think there's maybe, maybe a world we live in. Where we get Ericsson off and Hannison at centre back as well. That might help us out a little bit. Well, that's that. That's the team. Right. We know we're good at home. We know we demolished teams in Europe at home. We did so against Bruce Munch and Gladbach. We beat Zenit St. Petersburg at home. We beat them big away from home, but we beat them at home. Come on. I believe in us. 90 minutes to turn this one around, right? Lazio have no away goals, neither we right now, obviously, so we can't really let Lazio score. But we've got to score two on our own without reply to get the win. And of course, if they end up scoring an away goal, we then have to score three goals. So it could be quite a stretch for us right now if we want to win this game. We've got to defend really, really solidly as Araya gets the ball to Stransky. Stransky to Ferdinand. Ferdinand to Stransky. Stransky to Murphy. Murphy's shot is, or pass is blocked, but somehow it gets its way through to Sione. And Sione's 46th goal of the season gives us the lead in this game. Puts us back in this time. I'm going to skip the replay because I'm, I'm too nervous. And I'm very nervous right now as Lazio... Look to come forward. Oh, boys, we could be going to a cup final. We could be going to a cup final. Lazio shot from distance, not good enough. We've been the better side so far. We can just keep doing this, all right? We've given ourselves plenty of time to score another goal. We've also given plenty of time for Lazio to score a goal. That's somehow gone in the back of a net. No offside, nothing. Okay. Well, that's now an away goal for Lazio. That's now an away goal for Lazio. Is that an own goal? Does that go down as an own goal? It doesn't. It goes down as Lazio's goal, which is, I guess, okay. If it's going to go down as someone's goal. Sione has somehow not scored that opportunity. That would have been mental if he'd scored that. But as I say, Lazio now with the away goal. We've got to score two. We've got to score two. And to do that, I'm going to go a bit more attacking. Attacking mentality as Stransky gets the ball into Murphy. Murphy's shot hits the post. Oh. One, maybe final a chance for us to score a goal before half time. Terziev into Stransky into Catanio. Oh, and Catanio puts it just wide. Yeah, I mean, it's not for the lack of trying. We've got some fantastic chances in this first half. We just can't seem to finish them. Off the woodwork once. Really close half chances as well. Dressing room, thrash the arms, and far from pleased from what I've just seen. You've got 45 minutes to score two goals out there. That's all we've got. 45 minutes to score two goals. And right now it's Lazio on the ball looking to come forward. I believe in us. Come on. I'm, oh, I'm nervous. Don't if we if Lazio score another goal, that's it. It's over. If Lazio score another one, it is absolutely over. And they are coming forward right now. Krenta with a good save. We can do it. I know we can do it. I know we can. I think shortly we're going to need some more attacking roles and duties on the pitch uh, to help us get the ball forward a little better and you know, try and create something. Right now, we're struggling at the start of this second half. Uh, Lazio holding on to possession nicely. That's a weird highlight, wasn't it? With 30 minutes to go, as Tottenham go to look, Tottenham are in the final, right? Tottenham are there. 
I think Strensky needs to be a complete wing back on attack. Terzi of complete wing back on attack. I think Catanio becomes a Mazala on support. We've got quite a few attack duties there, right? Ferdinand is on attack instead, though. We've got to do something. Gisk, for all the times he's turned up, he's not turning up today, which is rather frustrating, right? You know, he scored plenty of goals in recent episodes. Today, he decides not to score. Gisk, come on, we need you. Let's go very attacking. Let's shout demand more. We've got to get two goals now. Two goals in 15 minutes. Catania's coming off for uh, Caramarco. Oh, I just don't think we've got it in us. I think we might have just just reached our limit. Although Terziev, don't give me hope, boy. Is they? Oh, we've done it. We've got one back, but we're still going out. We're still going out. Substitute Caramarco comes on, scores a pile driver, right? But we're still going out as it stands because Lazio have that away goal. Oh, it's Ferdinand who scores. Caramarco with the assist. Ferdinand with a great pile driver from distance. Another highlight. Another highlight. I don't think I can take this. I really do not think I can take this. Terziev, Gisk, 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 come on, he's done it. He's got that goal. We've turned it around. There's 12 minutes to go now. 12 minutes until we are in a Europa League final. Quick, right. I need to go back to this. Uh, go back to balance, right. Uh, wing back, defend. Wing back, uh, defend, please. Mazzardo, no. Box to box midfielder on support, please. Ferdinand, drop back to um, that. I don't want to go too defensive just yet. I don't want to invite tons of pressure onto us. You know, if I go and bring a CDM on instead, for example, I don't want to invite tons of pressure onto us. Corner cleared. Stransky. In fact, what we need to do as well is waste time. We need to waste time and slow the tempo down massively. I'll do that in a second. There's Sione, Ferdinand, Murphy. Oh, we've lost possession. No. Oh, it's a Lazio highlight. Don't you dare score. Don't you dare score, Lazio. Not after all of this. Don't put me through a Stransky, you beautiful man. Into Ferdinand. Through to Gisk. Gisk. Oh. I I don't want to say it because there's 10 minutes to go still, right? I, th I think there's a final. What I need to do, though, is drop the tempo right down really low. Um, how, let's play for set pieces, right? Let's also... Where's the button to be waste, wait, time wasting all the time, frequently? Okay, let's do that. Nine minutes to go. Lazio don't score. I mean, it's okay if they do, right? We're still winning. We're still going through. But it would really, really put the pressure on me and us as a team if they do score right now. I'd be very concerned. So please don't do it, Lazio. They've not. Adresa. Adresa. Gisk. Oh, I thought it was going to be mixed up with the defence there. There's not. But we still hold on to possession. Murphy. Murphy now. Into Sione. Sione. On the edge of the area. Not a great shot, but it's okay. It's fine. Still, the highlights keep coming. When are they going to end? <laughs> Please end. I just want to get to a final. Oh, Lazio put the ball over the bar. Brilliant. Right. No more highlights, please. Just get through to the end of the game. That's all I want. That is all I want. Please. It's all I need. We've done it. We've done it. We've got to the Europa League final in dramatic style with three very late goals in the game. We send Lazio packing and there's going to be a party in the whole of Gibraltar tonight. Everyone's on that rock tonight having a great time. We're going to a Europa League final. Wow. We've booked our tickets at Celtic Park for the final. We've been given £2 million for it. And the irony is right. We're playing Tottenham. Um, it's funny and ironic because as I record this, um, I have just avoided a sack three times at Tottenham on the stream save. Um, so things for me personally are not going well at Tottenham. Um, to be fair, when you watch this episode, I might have been sacked by Tottenham. Um, or I might have turned it around. I don't know because obviously I'm not psychic. I can't predict the future. But uh, Tottenham for me on stream saves is not going well. So if I now lose to Tottenham, I, I probably will cry. Gisk scored two very important goals there, right after I slagged them off as well, actually, to be fair. So that is fantastic. Oh, we're in a final. We are in a final. So for me, 
I think we do two more episodes this series. Um, tomorrow, we will do Valencia, Levante and Elche to find out if we qualify for the Champions League via the league, if we go into the Europa League next season via the league, or if we get no European football next season at all. So we'll do that tomorrow, and then the day after, we will do the, t the Cup Final as a YouTube premiere which will be hugely exciting. So thank you so much for watching today's episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And of course, if you have done, make sure you do drop a like on today's video and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. And I will see you next time. Have a good one. Goodbye.